Hey Geek, so if you're brand new to using DaVinci Resolve and say for example you upgraded it and then it causes issues or it breaks something or maybe you just simply like an older version of DaVinci Resolve. So how would you actually go back to previous versions if you didn't already make backups of your downloads of the software? Well, this is something that I didn't know that you could do whenever starting out. But if you go to DaVinci Resolve's main site, you see that whenever you go to download, it will have the latest version available to download. So this is how you would actually get previous versions. You would go to Blackmagic Design's main website. So the main website is blackmagicdesign.com. So I could right click here in the logo, open in a new tab. And this is the main site with all their products. And here you're going to go to support. And then once you get to the page, you see that there's a section here called latest downloads, which has all the available downloads for all of their different products. Now, if you want to filter out just by DaVinci Resolve, you could click on this DaVinci Resolve and Fusion software. And now it's going to filter out only by that. And as you can see, it shows the latest updates, but you could actually scroll down and you can look at the read more section and it's going to show you all the features that came with that version. You could print this out as well. And here's what's really cool. If you keep scrolling down, it goes back really, really far. As you can see here, all the way back to 2014 with DaVinci Resolve Lite 10.1.5. Now, before there was a free version, the Lite version was the free version. And if you click on the operating system, in this case, it's Windows or Mac. And then later, you could download Linux as well. You could put in your information and then you could actually register and download the older version of DaVinci Resolve. This is really, really a great feature because it allows you to go back for whatever reason. And the only thing I do want to say is if you do go back to an older version of DaVinci Resolve, uh, things might not work. For example, like your databases. A lot of times whenever you upgrade to a newer version of DaVinci Resolve, you also update your database and quite often it's not going to work with older versions. So just kind of keep that in mind. And also maybe some things might not work 100%, especially with really old versions of DaVinci Resolve. So hopefully this quick tip helps you. And if you had any other thoughts on this or any other ways you wish to do this, be sure you leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. Get thousands of royalty-free music and sound effects for all your creative needs. Whether you are a content creator, freelancer, or business, Audio has the perfect song for you at amazing prices. For more information, check out the fitter link in the description area below.